Apparently Shaylin has ripped inside the BHE. Great tree frog. Right, it looks great. But that's the species of a great tree frog. Alright, let's put him outside. That's a big old bullfrog right there. I don't know that I'll be able to get down there and catch him, but I can try. Well, I'm getting closer to him. Yeah, he jumped in last second before I could grab him. There's a gar. And down here along the along the lake shore, down below the lake house, along the water's edge, kind of shining around. See if I can find some green snakes. I've been a little baffled with all the all the snakes that I found here, quite a variety and quite a quite a number, even in just in the backyard of the of the lake house. And for some reason I've never found a green snake. I've come out here and shined so many times at night, but I just, I just don't seem to be here. It's amazing because this looks like a great green snake habitat. Hey bud. What you doing? A little night fishing? Frogging? Yeah, I'm looking for snakes myself. I don't suppose you've seen any. No. Me either. Huh? That's right. You go ahead. If you want to do what you're doing. Always lots of these guys around, at night especially, but it's cool to see them up here on the on the patio, on the doorstep. There's a prairie lizard right there, without a tail. There he goes. Anyway, what I wanted to show you was, this birdhouse right here has baby wrens in it. And last night, when we arrived here, the neighbor was cleaning fish right there at his cleaning station. So we were standing there talking to him, and we were actually telling snake stories. And then a wren, one of the parent, the mother or father wren, landed on top of this, this uh, clothesline rack here, and was just squawking like crazy. Just going crazy about something. And I said... You know what? I bet there's a snake down there somewhere, and that's the reason he's going crazy. So I had to come down, and right here, climbing up the outside of this little rock wall, was this little guy. This little juvenile black rat snake. And it was just amazing to me that that wren saw that thing way down there, even though I mean, he was getting kind of close, I guess, to the to the nest but she was just squawking and carrying on it's a pretty cool little snake it's actually amazing to me how black it is being this size they have the pattern when they're young they're kind of gray and patterned but then they get blacker as they get older and this one's Still pretty small. Sometimes they still have the pattern when they're when they're that size, but this guy's pretty black. See, see that? That's exactly what that run was doing last night. I brought the snake out as soon as I put it down I guess 
That's interesting. <laughs> this guy go now per my mom's request because she didn't want to get in the the wren babies <laughs> i took it up the road a little bit too this uh area you may have seen in my other videos where i have some boards laid out i call it the junk house let's see maybe i'll just let me go down here into this boat There you go. Figure I'll check my boards while I'm here. Check it out. There's a speckled king right there. Fat one, boy. He's eating something not too long ago. Hey there. He has pooped and mussed all over himself. Or she, it's probably female. She's probably full of eggs. Looks like she's full of a meal, but of course these boards, I usually find lots of ring necks and worm snakes and earth snakes under, but there's absolutely nothing under them. She may have eaten them all. Nice, healthy looking snake. The flies are all over the place now. This thing is just musked and pooped like crazy. Alright, that was a nice treat. This is the first. I laid these boards out here. Oh, probably a year ago, and this is the first thing. It wasn't a small fossorial snake that I found underneath them, so I hope she stays around. Maybe lays her eggs and has babies somewhere close to here. Come on, go underneath. I want her back under the same board. This little tarp right here. There's a turtle right there. Can't tell if it's a western painted turtle or a river cooter. I think it's a I think it's a painted turtle. Western painted turtle. But there's no way I get down. Wow, there's a there's a big fish right there too in the water. So a big tail come up. There goes the turtle. All right, our neighbor caught a fish. He says we have to come out and see, so let's see what he's got. Darby, you're going to be on YouTube, so this better be a good oh, fish. Right. No, it's, it's a good fish. Darby shouldn't be. That's Tina's fish. No, it's fish. Tina's fish, not mine. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. That's... That's a fish. You might want to help, Tina. Your fish, get him up there. I'm not joking. He's, he's mean. I don't care if he's mean or not. You're going to have to help. Okay. See what he's got. 52. He's not as heavy as I thought. Probably a little bit more than that. 52? Yeah, 52. 52 pound flathead catfish. Alright. Now we're going to take the fish out of him. Hey, it's the next night here. Talking quietly because I'm behind, I'm below somebody's house. But I finally got one. Rough green snake. First one here, the BAG. Let's see if I can reach up there and grab him. It's a little high, so I may not be able to reach him. Alright, I went back to the house and I got my snake hook. Couldn't reach that green snake, but I'm going to go see if I can. Reach enough to get it down and get a better look at it with my snake hook. Like I said, it's it's right below somebody else's lake house, and I'm just walking on the shore down behind their house. I don't know if they knew I was there or not, but I could hear them talking. And I didn't want to talk too loud. 
All right, here's this greenie. I was able to reach up there with my snake hook and get him. So, I'll take it back and let it go in the same place. But I wanted to get to where I could talk a little better without uh, feeling like I'm going to bother somebody. But yeah, I was looking, this is the second night here this weekend, and I was just looking pretty much in the same, uh, same little bit of brush that I was looking last night and couldn't find one. It's probably about my fourth or fifth time up here at the lake house going out and looking for green snakes at night, and for some reason I hadn't been able to find one until now. He's got a few uh, little scars on him, kind of right there, you can see. And then down here by his cloaca on the one side at least looks like something something bit him. But he's doing alright anyway. Look at that little guy. Little gray tree frog. Oh, that's pretty neat. Well, it seems like lately I'm closing out each video with a shot from home <laughs> when we get back home. Uh, we had just had a, a weekend up at the BAG and found some cool stuff that I showed you, and now we're back home. And just found this little garter snake under one of these rocks by our little garden pond. So, once again, thanks for watching.